hi guys welcome to another video in this video i'll be talking about how we can scrap the data from the websites using chrome extensions there are different ways that we can use to scrap the data we can write a script in node puppeteer or cheerio or we can use the python library called scrappy uh, for some kind of complex applications but for most of the sites we can use the chrome extension to scrap the data so what is web scrapping actually when whenever we are on the web page currently this is the website and it has a lot of movies released in 2023 and uh, this is the list and if we want to scrap the data out in the excel file or in the pdf file we have to copy paste in and each and everything from here and then put it inside that file right you you can see that it has a lot of titles inside it and only the 150 are showing over here so it will take a lot of time there has to be a shortcut way to actually scrap the data first i will talk about an extension and uh, this extension is called this scrapper i'm going to give the link of this uh, chrome extension in the description below for you to easily down install this in your chrome browser once you install it i have already installed it it uh, you need to pin it over here so this is where it is actually existing okay so now using this scrapper once you will do it let's say that i i right click over here and it's showing scrap similar if it shows in your browser it means that this extension have been successfully installed now using this chrome extension let's try to scrap out all the titles of all the movies visible on this page okay so first of all let me first go and inspect over here and now you can see that uh, it has this h2 and then it has this span and then this anchor tag a tag and then a tag contains the flash which is the title of this movie okay and let's go to the second title and i i'm assuming that it's going to have the same dom structure h3 and inside h3 it has anchor tag right so i'm assuming that all other titles are same we need to match the similarity between the different titles so most of the time in fact uh, almost 100 percent of time the similar kinds of elements on a web page have the same kind of dom html structure right so this is important when we try to scrap the things now let's say in order to scrap it i'm going to select the title of it make sure you don't select the uh, spaces on the right and left uh, of this title and i'm going to right click it and i'm going to click on scrap similar and it's going to quickly go through all the similar elements and it's going to give me all the titles of this okay and here i can copy in the clipboard my data have been copied and i can paste it anywhere else and also i can export it to the google docs as well so this is how you can see that it is showing the selector x path and now it is showing the there are uh, h3 tag and inside h3 there is an anchor tag and you need to go through all the h3 and having an anchor tag in the whole document uh, object model and uh, fetch the title of it now let's try and uh, get this thing i'm going to copy this 7.3 i'm assuming that all other ratings will have the same dom architecture so i'm going to right click and scrap similar now you can see that it has outputted all the similarities that had this div tag and inside it it had this strong tag um, so uh, i think there are a few movies like poor things it does not have the rating that's why it has skipped this particular thing and there might be more things like that okay that's why it didn't include it in that list so here you can see that it only showed 42 see so it seems that there were total 50 movies and eight out of that does not have that rating okay so this extension is straightforward when you have one page and you want to scrap the similar data out of it uh, you can use this amazing scrapper extension of the chrome browser okay now let's move to uh, 
another chrome extension which is for the advanced type of scrapping from the different websites uh, that has navigations paginations and we have the relationship between the parent uh, element to the child element so i'm just going to close that and uh, i'll give the link of this thing this extension is called the web scrapper i'm also giving the link of this uh, url in the description below once you will install it it will be visible over here okay and before actually start working with it what you need to do is click on the manage extension page and this is the page you will see and here uh, you have to add the specific sites uh, you can click on the all sites but i would recommend to select the specific sites and give the urls you can add more than one urls from here but i have already added one url which is the www.whatmobile.com.pk and in this website uh, i'm going to scrap the brands of mobile phones and in each brand page i'm going to scrap the titles of all the mobile phones exist on this website okay and um, i will also recommend to click this toggle button these two toggle buttons uh, it's uh, it's not compulsory but i would recommend uh, you to enable this for this particular extension right and now uh, let me open up this thing and this is the whatmobile.com.pk website and uh, here you can see that if you go to the inspect window you will see there is a new tab will be visible called the web scrapper and uh, and we can actually use this to scrap the data right we don't need to write the code for that so let's work with it now let's move to the this is the search by brand and these are all the brands of the mobile phones right so let's first configure this web scrapper so that it can fetch all the links of these brands because in each of these links there will be mobile phones uh, uh, really related to this particular brand so let's try this out if i go to the samsung mobile this is an r let's close it now you can see that uh, it is showing all the samsung phones because i'm inside the samsung uh, brand right so let's move back and let's now use this web scrapper plugin extension actually so starting off with creating a new sitemap and here i'm going to give the link of website which i want to scrap the starting url only and then i can give it any name i'm going to give it what mobile okay and i'm going to create this sitemap and inside it i need to create the selector selector means go to the dom and check that what is the dom element for all these brands and i'm assuming that all these brands will have the similar kind of ui and the dom properties so it will automatically i don't need to go and inspect and check that it will automatically figure out what's the uh, dom elements being used to actually list down these brands so now from bottom i need to click on the add new selector and here i can give it any id so i'm going to give it the name brands and i don't need the text instead i need the link of it okay and uh, but by default it will also give me the text but uh, uh, if i select the link it will be give me link as well so i need the link and now i need to select uh, some of these so i'll click on the multiple and click on the select and then i will select more than one items which i want to select so if i click on samsung it is selected and if i click on the second one it's going to go through all the whole page and find out the similar elements with respect to the dom and if i click on it you can see that it has selected all of these which had the similar kind of dom elements exist okay so this is how the website is built and if the website is built with a messed up code that will be hard for us to actually scrap the data out okay so i'll click on the done scrapping now this is the selector it has selected okay so now i'm clicking on here you can see that the brands are this is the brand and the parent of this brand is the underscore root because we have not created any other selector before this brands okay now i'm click on this uh, selector okay now it is created now before going towards um, 
inside these brands and the links of these brands let's try this out whether the brand links are actually scrapped or not okay so sitemap and uh, first of all let's go to and check the select graph and you can see that there is a root and it has the child brands okay and uh, now let's go to scrap leave the values as it is start scrapping now it's going to go through this website and it's going to figure out the sidebar and fetch the data so if you see if you see this kind of error it's just asking you to use their cloud services uh, but uh, we are not going to do that so we'll just going to click on the refresh from here right and now you can see that it has scrapped out in just one to two seconds uh, these are the titles of these brands and these are the href values of these brands okay and now we can use these links one by one and navigate to the each page of these brands and then fetch the title of the mobile phones in from inside okay guys so now if this data is printed we can click on uh, this and uh, we can export this sitemap data if you want to share this sitemap with someone else with your friend they can just import this sitemap and then use it um, uh, on their system on their browser okay but if you want to export it in the form of data you can export it in excel or in the csv format all right now let's go to the sitemaps what mobile and this is the brands now we need to go inside the brands because all the mobile phones are existing inside the each brand uh, from here okay so now i need to click on this brands row now here i'm already inside the brand now here i'll click on the new selector okay but before doing that let's go inside one of the categories one of the brands so we can actually select the elements actually the first the title of each of these phone okay now add a new selector and i'm going to name it title and here i don't need the link because i don't want to navigate inside this page if i would want to uh, i would have selected this link but for now i only have uh, this text and this is the requirement so i'll click on the select now multiple select just as before and you can see that it is automatically selecting the title now i need to select more than one so if i selected more than one it has automatically detected all the similar elements in the dom and done selecting and it has selected this particular selector now you can see that the parent selector is already set to brands uh, we have to keep it brands because it should be inside this uh, brands selector okay now the save selector now the title uh, selector have been created and here we can um, go to the selector graph root and the brands and inside the brand we have this title okay and inside the title we don't have anything if we were to creating uh, the mobile detail page we would have created the selectors inside this title okay but for now uh, we are we are done with it now i'm just going on and click on the scrap now it's going to start scrapping it will take some time uh, about two to three minutes because it needs to navigate to all the brands pages in order to fetch the title of each mobile phone so let's wait for this all right so it also took around three to four minutes to scrap the title of each brand page so it navigated through each brand page and then uh, scrap the title out so now you can see that it has printed out and added a new column over here with respect to the brand name on this third column okay so it, how quickly we can scrap the data from website and add some navigations selectors and the relationship between the selectors from parent to child and then the grandchild so this is how we can do it so now we have another property if we want to navigate inside each mobile phone we can also do that and if we want to fetch the prices of it or the image urls from here we can also get that and if we talk about the prices we can see that some of the mobile phones might not have prices so you can see here it does not have prices so if we try to select this tag as a text then it might ignore this na from here because it might have a different dom element when we will inspect it okay so just to let you guys know that uh, 
if I am inside the brands currently there is only one row for the title and uh, if I want to select the price add a new selector and I'm going to name it price text and multiple select select the price one more time it's going to analyze all the price elements on this page all right and the parent has to be brands because this page is a part of the brands page okay and i'm clicking on the save or oh, okay i forgot to do done selecting now this selector has been added and i'm going to click on the save now there are two elements over here all right and if i go and select the graph here is a root brands and here we have the title and the price two graphs okay so now if i will run the script uh, it's going to take uh, around 10 minutes i think because there is a price as well so i will let you guys uh, do this on your system and see if you can fetch the price out or not so play with this extension and uh, it's really good extension quite extensive for scrapping the data out from the different kinds of websites so i'm experienced developer as well i write scripts in node puppeteer and cheerio so using the node script we have a flexibility to manage and tackle the all kinds of web applications no matter how the dom is constructed okay but i think most of the sites will you will be able to scrap out using this particular chrome extension but uh, again if the website is too complex so too much animations on the website and the layout is quite complex uh, then you might need to write the script or ask someone to write a script for you uh, all right guys so i think that's pretty much it i hope that you have liked this video if you like it it's my new channel don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my video as well thank you